theprofitroom.com weekly recap of the day trades that we're taking for the week. We will start off with Monday, January 8th, 2018 through Friday the 12th and see what trades actually worked out, what trades didn't, and how we pretty much summed up not only the days but the actual week. Now please note we always focus on small share size for our subscribers just so they know that it is possible that you can also make money following these trades even if you have a small account. We understand and realize that not everyone can go a thousand or two thousand shares like the moderators can and we base our stops based off of small accounts. So we really like to maximize those gains and protect um, capital as well as you know, the emotions going into the trade in general. So if a stop is hit, we move on and find something great. So Monday, KSS, Edit, STX, MU were traded. Very small loss on MU, 12 cents. This is more of a bonus trade. So we're just willing to take that small risk. You can see, based off of 100 shares, small account capital, 150 bucks for the day. Now, if you trade in 1,000 shares lots, you would have net $1,500 on that day, and the more, the bigger their account, and so forth. So let's go directly into the daily charts for KSS. This day, Monday the 8th, we took a short 63 cents gain. Edit, we also took the short intraday right to support, and we were able to net almost 50 cents on this trade. STX was a nice positive trade, also had another 50 cent winner at MU this day. Very small risk, we gave up 12 cents. Now let's go into Tuesday the 9th to see what was traded. Tuesday was an okay day not as great as Monday because Monday we really had some solid winners Tuesday it was more of a little chop fest trading URBN not once or twice but taking it a third time as you can see here so the solid trades end up being target as well as NVDA we really trying to aim for at least a dollar per share of a day but of course at times you may have some losers within that day but our goal is to net positive for the day I'm not saying that losing days do not occur but we really it's really a real thing um, with us because of how we keep the risk so let's dive right into it um, we'll start with target target on the ninth that was a short trade as well as NVDA. You can see how these candles look. The bearish, we love to go short, so just know we took that short. Now, URBM <laughs> intraday, I threw it on a 15 minute chart so you can see the, the choppiness with this trade. Um, it's really a matter of timing, and it did work out eventually, but we was not in the trade to actually catch it or reap the benefits of it actually working out. Now let's go to Wednesday the 10th. We traded Kodak for a nice morning move. It was a nice short for 55 cents. Had a nice level of resistance where we did not quite catch just really looking at the opening ranges before actually picking a stock to trade and this one worked out great we had some losers along the way and pretty much over traded KODX only for this one to actually work out in the direction we anticipated once again and that was to go short um, and then cost we took a 20 cent loss and a small gain on Apple and Wednesday was an extremely flat day. I believe Apple is a trade that actually saved this day. Just taking one last trade 
um, to see if we can have just something in the bank. So let's go to KLDK and take you on a 15 minute chart of the day that it pretty much gapped into resistance. Um, what we like to do is give pre-market analysis before even trading the trade. So everyone can be on the same page. So we took this short, worked out great. Um, and then we took it a few more times within, you can see here this channel for it not to work out. Um, the stops were a little bit too tight because we did not want to initially give back what we made on it from the very first trade. But this candle here, yeah, this this was a move we anticipated, but we did not catch. So VRX, we took a small loss on that day. Very tight risk, 10 cents. Cost ended up being 20 cent. Kind of um, did not get the, the brunt of that move. We got in a little bit too late, and this kind of reversed on us a little bit, and that was a 20 cent hit. And Apple saved the day that occurred on Wednesday, so very flat. Now we'll move on to Thursday. Thursday, DAL, earnings report, nice strong move, therefore we took it long, <laughs> yes. So Dow, nice move up. We were able to capitalize on that move. We took about 50 cents per share on that trade Thursday. And then Apple. Apple took a 27 um, cent loss on this one where we went long, but the stop was tight. Um, we got in at $175.25, and this was actually where the stop was. Directionally wise speaking, we knew that this thing was going to go up and make a new high. It's just a matter of will it do it the day you're in the trade for a day trade. And it did go up, but we were in just a little bit earlier or our stop was just too tight. So either way you look at it, we took the hit, although it went in the direction we wanted to. MU this trade, we made 14 cents on it. We took this trade long, and then CVX, this was actually brought to our attention. And try to take a reversal trade, a quick scalp, but we only risked 10 cents. So it wasn't really nothing much, and that's pretty much how that played out. Thursday, we ended up doing okay on that day but Friday Friday made up for both Thursday as well as Wednesday because Facebook was a monster so we traded Facebook EA Twitter and Facebook two more times as well as EA once again and then a bonus trade was AFL so Let's go to those charts. Facebook, we traded a total of three times. Um, we have a losing trade in Facebook where it pretty much breached our stop, but we made up for it on the next trade and in that trade right out, positive. EA as well as AFL for the day. So let's dive right into these charts. So Facebook, just based off of the support levels, we took this trade long and that was a huge trade. First thing, first start of the morning, it was excellent. The next trade, EA, we wanted this short right to support. However, it breached our stop before actually rolling and hitting that support area, which was the target. Then again, we turned right around and we bought off a of support and we were able to make money on EA that way. So really, just a timing factor here. 
He took a small loss on Twitter, 15 cents. We went long, wrong time. And then we also traded AFL. Bonus trade. It was the last trade of the day. Um, we got in this trade near 84. Um, very tight stop loss because once again it was a bonus trade. And then this thing just started running. Very exciting, and we were able to get a nice strong push to almost net about 80 cents per share. And that really solidified the day, making Friday an excellent, excellent day. So, so far, mid-month basically. And we're right on track for another excellent month. So see everyone in the profit room.